What is up, wrestling fans? Tony Mango here, welcoming you to another edition of the Internet Wrestling Community Outreach portion of the Smart Out Moment Smack Talk Podcast for the week. We're going to start things off the way that we normally do here with the Smart My Words, my favorite interaction that I've had with you guys throughout the week in the comments sections and different things like that. Winner this time around is Guest 5 for a little back and forth that we had going on about my discussion about getting a brand new phone. I was saying that it took four hours to buy a new phone the other day because my phone had broken. T-Mobile was taking their sweet-ass time trying to figure out how to uh, set me up with a brand new one and stuff. And there was a little bit of a miscommunication when it came to that with uh, Guest 5. He said, four years to buy a phone. That's why you don't use dial-up when ordering stuff from the internet. And I said, well... Did I say that it took four years instead of four hours? Because I forgot that, you know, maybe I would have made that mistake. And he said, no, you said four hours. And I could have sworn that I typed four hours. I've ruined it. So my response to that, of course, was that's why you don't use dial-up when leaving comments. And he just said, oh, you went there. So I always like that little back and forth, keeping everybody in check. I thought that was pretty funny. Some other funny comments throughout the week as well, but that's the one that stuck out in my brain. So thank you, Guest 5, for that little back and forth. Thank you to everybody else as well who left comments all over the place on the YouTube channel, videos, the Twitter, and so on and so forth, including our group on Facebook where a lot of activity goes down, where we do live chats throughout the week with Monday Night Raw and with SmackDown and 205 Live and pay-per-views and such, and also where we just bullshit, you know, on a regular basis and stuff. You can find that at Facebook.com slash groups slash the mega maniacs if you're not in that group already go ahead and sign up we'll add you in there and then you can start having fun with us this week we're going to be taking care of the may mailbag special so if you haven't sent in your questions yet and you got a little bit of time to be able to knock that out before we start doing that send them in by either sending us an email through the contact form of the website or tweeting at us with the hashtag mailbag and if you want to pick our brains about something that's wrestling related or completely unrelated to wrestling, that's the spot where you're going to have to do it. So if you aren't able to get it in ahead of time, then send the questions in anyway. We'll keep it backlogged and we'll answer them in June. If you're looking to help support the growth of Smart Out Moment for the future, then there's a couple of different things that you should be aware of. First up, as far as monetary donations go, if you got the spare change and you're so inclined to toss some of it our way, you can donate money directly with our PayPal button at the bottom of smartoutmoment.com, the YouTube fan funding module, or through our Patreon. Or an indirect method of doing that is to buy some t-shirts and some other kinds of merchandise over at our Redbubble and our Tee Public shops. Just uploaded a brand new design of Vote for the Rock for 20, uh, 2020's election. So go check that out at the Smart Out Moment Tee Public one. And there's also a Tee Public shop for Fanboys Anonymous and an offshoot one just called A Mango Tees. Check them out, see if there's anything you're interested in. You can also help spread the word about the website in a couple different ways, such as the Sign Me Up initiative for that all you got to do is, if you're going to a wrestling event, take a sign that says Smart Out Moment, send me a picture of yourself holding it up, and I'll give you a little shout out on the uh, website. Or the most important thing out of all is to help us grow our social media audience by liking and sharing our posts on Facebook, retweeting and following us on Twitter, giving the YouTube videos a thumbs up, leaving your comments on there, sharing the website's articles, posting things on Reddit, message boards, subscribing to all of our accounts, and so on and so forth. All that other kind of stuff helps out quite a bit. As long as you're getting our name out there, it's greatly appreciated, everybody. And the same thing applies to fanboysanonymous.com, my spot for movie reviews and other kind of nerdy things like that, superhero talk, and, you know, whatever the case may be. The next thing you're going to be hearing from me on that channel is going to be a review of the Baywatch movie. So if you're interested in that, follow the YouTube channel, subscribe over there, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and head on over to fanboysanonymous.com for all the content. Now that we got that stuff out of the way, we are on the major topic of the video, the wrestling trivia question of the week, otherwise known as the Ask Him. Nobody got last week's question correct, but admittedly, it was a little bit of a Tony question. It was, name the five sings that have a relation to Jinder Mahal's career. We know, of course, that the Singh brothers are two of them. Uh, Sunil and Samir, I think they're going by now. The Bollywood boys, I can't remember their first names. Uh, Sunil's one of them. Uh, previously, uh, they said that Jenner Mahal's character, at the very least, was the brother-in-law of the great Kali, whose real name is Dalip Singh Rana. So there's another Singh. 
Of course, Kali's former manager and the person that Jinder Mahal ran out of WWE was Ranjan Singh. And if he didn't know it, Jinder Mahal himself once wrestled under a name that's kind of close to his real name. He used to go by Tiger Raj Singh. His real name is Yuvraj, I think that's how you pronounce it, Singh Desi. So he is a Singh. Then there's the Singh brothers, Great Kali is a Singh, and then there's Ranjan Singh. Those are the five Singhs. It wasn't Singh as far as, like, you know, vocal Singh. I wasn't trying to screw you guys over when it came to that one, but it was something that you needed to look through Wikipedia a little bit. You needed to kind of bounce around and start doing a little bit of research for if you didn't know off, uh, off the top of your head. This one, for this week, is going to be something that is not necessarily trivia in the sense of, like, you know, who won this such and such match or something. But more so, it's something that Jinder Mahal has said in a recent interview. I want to see if you guys are paying attention to the dirt sheets and stuff. He said that there were two people, possibly a third one, that were in the mix to be in 3MB other than Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre. So, who were those three possible people that could have been in 3MB other than Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre? We know that Heath Slater is the main guy of the crew, but who would have been those other two? If you think you know the answer, you want to leave a guess, or you want to toss out anything else in the comments below, go ahead and do that. Next week, I will tell you the answer and run down anything else that I need to run down. But that's going to do us in for this week's edition of the IWC Outreach. Thanks for listening, everybody. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you know when we post our next videos, which are going to be the Sexiest Superstars Tournament Finals Breakdown and our mailbag for May. So stay tuned for all that stuff coming your way. But for now, this has been another Smart Out Moment. And I'm being counted out. Bye.